This is the stock Delphi power steering pump off of a 98 Corvette LS1 engine. I'm putting that engine into my 66 Corvette. And one change I've got to make is I've got to go to a smaller diameter pulley. This is the stock pulley. But I've got clearance issues with my upper control arm. So I'm going to put this aluminum pulley on here, which is about 25% smaller in diameter than the original. And so what that's going to do is increase the pressure output of this pump. So I've got to reduce that pressure to compensate for the reduced pulley diameter. And Borgeson makes a little kit. So that's what I'm going to be putting in here today. Basically all you do is put some shims um, around the control valve there and they've got instructions here or the flow valve I guess they call it um, showing you how to take it apart so that's what I'm going to do I'm just going to follow the instructions and we'll see how this goes first thing we got to do is take this out this is where the high pressure hose connects right here This is the valve, the flow valve. Spring goes down in there. And in the kit is this little sleeve that this will slide right in there. And then we'll clamp this in the vise so I can take this nut off here, this bolt. And that sleeve just keeps that um, flow valve from getting scratched or pinched on the outside. Okay, I'm going to take all that apart and clean that out. because There was a little bit of thread locker or something around here. I'm not sure what it was. These little shims will just go right on there like that. There's a little chart right here. It says, uh, if you have no shims, your pump is putting out about 1,350 PSI. The recommended pressure for that uh, power steering box that I have over there is 11 to 1,250. I'm thinking that if I put one shim, that puts it at 1,200 PSI, that would be just right for the stock size pulley. But since my pulley is a lot smaller, the one I'm going to be using, maybe I need to drop down about 25%. Um, so looking at the various options here, I think if I put three shims, that brings it down to 1,000 PSI. But then the fact that it's going to be turning faster, uh, the pressure will increase. And I'm guessing that'll put it up in the 1150 to 1250 range, which is right where I need to be. So I'm going to use three shims on this application. Got all these parts cleaned up now, so I can put it back together. Basically, got a little spring here with a little pin on top of it. Drops down in there. Then there's a little ball bearing that goes right there. And this goes down and rest on that bearing so i'll put my shims on here first there's one there's two
And there's three. Looks like they give you five in the kit. And basically all this does is, because this piece here compresses that spring down in here, by putting shims on here, it puts less pressure on the spring, which in turn will create less pressure on the output of the whole assembly. And then this just goes right back down in here. Remember the spring goes just, just like this. I put a new O-ring on here that came in the kit. Tighten this down real good. And that's all there is to it. It's fairly easy. And I won't know for sure if I've got the proper number of shims in there until I can get the car finished and, and drive it and see how it feels. And this is Borgeson, part number 899001, pump pressure reducing kit.